Hello community, I hope you are doing good. In this discussion, we will see how to extend custom footer in PDF report using QWeb template engine. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to extend custom header part and add a dynamic values, please check link is given in the description. And if you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the playlist. Under the playlist, you can see Odoo development. And here different types of playlist available with different topics with real task classes. And yes, this is the main Odoo development playlist. Odoo related topics will cover in this playlist also and in case you need any support related Odoo you can visit the about page under the about page you can send your query to this email address and source code also available in the github we have also different social media pages make sure you can also follow and please subscribe this channel and if you want to support this channel using many ways buy me coffee paypal or using this join button so let's back to our main topic like how you can extend your footer with dynamic values right so first thing is we are going to here in the student profile in the list view let me open this first record and i will try to print this report now you can see the custom footer part is like this way and in our last discussion we already discussed how to add dynamic values in the header part right and this is the custom code like this way right if you don't know how to create dynamic values please check previous discussion also this link also given in the description okay so now let's do for the footer part so here what we have to do is simple we are going into our module which is this one right so you can see we created two different templates the first one is the layout the custom layout which is also available in Odoo Shine right the external layout the box the layout different layouts so we don't need to use the existing one but let's say we have to create our own right so for that like this is the easiest way you can try to develop header and footer part and this is the normal uh, let's say the PDF content like this this one here the body part right and for the header and footer part we have to extend this uh, this template only so you can see we already created a dynamic values and we created a one variable right as a company which is also available in our standard code uh, right now we are working in Odoo version 15 community version okay so don't confuse here and this is our header part so in our header part you can see it starts from here and it ends with here and in this header tag we already created a dynamic values like this way okay so let me close this one also let me close this one let's focus about the footer part so you can see here we created the first session as a custom as a static value custom footer right but what about the dynamic values so simple so what we are doing here is we can use here so we have to create here some dynamic values uh, it is let's say right now we will try to add here dynamic value from this company variable so for that like let's say the email address phone number or phone number right the mobile number or the phone number or and one more thing is the email address and the website so for that like let me add here the due tag class call for like this and i will add here the span tag t dash field company dot email right let me copy this content paste here after that let me add here phone br span t desk field company dot mobile so we have uh, two fields available in the company profile i mean in res dot company model right phone and the mobile so we will try to print both here and here 
simple we will use website all right and simple you can see we using call for so it will divide based on the pdf content so we are using the bootstrap classes right this one and simple i will use here row and text should be center now i will try to upgrade this module so for that like i'm going to here minus u i will paste here the module name i will stop this service and start the service with upgrade the module if you don't know how to configure like this way please check editor level playlist already explained how you can configure or doing pycharm now i will go to here in the first student profile page and i will try to reprint the report so you can see here the company email the company mobile number and the phone number and this is the website here all right so like this way you can do and another thing is we also like odo also have a one more beautiful thing which is available as a uh, let's say the html feed field right in aries.company also have a one more field which is report underscore footer variable in html format so let me comment this part I will try to upgrade the module and I will try to reprint this report oh sorry uh, my bad you can see also here this this desk field must have at least a record dot field name and we directly use here the specific field name only so it should be company dot report underscore footer all right so let me upgrade one more time and i will try to reprint this report so you can see it it will also print like this right the phone number email and the website so you can see here it's printed in the left side right so here we need to also provide a style so for that we can use here ul class list inline mb4 let me upgrade the module and i will reprint this report all right still it's not done so let me remove this one and i will try to upgrade the module all right so it will print in the middle of the screen so like this way you can add something like dynamic values if you want to print dynamic values separate like this way you can also do it but uh, let's say you configured for the general report right so for that this is the recommendation field report underscore footer all right and if you don't want to use the document layout header and footer but you want to use here your own custom footer so this one is the best like this well all right so i hope you understood about how to 
add dynamic values in the footer part in case you have any doubt please comment below and see you in next session and our next session should be how you can add a dynamic page number in header or in the footer part all right so you can also compare first time we had the static value here custom footer right after that we created our own different fields in different layout right using the call call desk for each this is the call desk for this is the call desk for and this is the call desk for so total should be called 12 and it will divide into the specific screen here in the layout and it will display like this and we also applied let's say the text should be center so it will display look like this after that we use the dynamic footer part right if you remember we also done we also done one mistake which is the class in the class main class we use the row so first thing is we need to remove that row and it will automatically adjust in the center part all right so this is the main overview of the custom footer part and the dynamic value and in case you have any doubt related to this topic please comment below and see you in next session